Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about Angular's custom validators, both async and sync. Here we have a very simple page. Um, it has two fields, state and city. It, they're grayed out because the data is not valid. If I input Massachusetts and then I input, say, Boston and a mouse is away, after three seconds the submit button is activated because the first cell requires either Massachusetts or Rhode Island, M-A or R-I. The city requires either Boston, Springfield, or Worcester. And it's an async validator, so it only validates after your mouse is away and wait for three seconds. Uh, say, let's change this to New York or some other city, uh, say New York. And mouse is away for three seconds. One, two, three, now it's red. And the submit button is grayed out because New York is not part of the Boston, Springfield, or Worcester. Um, so if you use Springfield, wait for three seconds, it becomes red again. You can submit again. So that's example of uh, validators, the synchronous validator and async validator. Now let's get to the code. The validator is no more than the function. It returns two values, two types of values. The first is null. The next is some other thing, other stuff. So you can see the state validator is just one liner. It accepts a form control. Um, if you have a more complex validators that work on multiple form controls, you will have to pass the form group to this function. And the validator will live behind the form group definition uh, somewhere here behind this in here yeah um, intake form here on in it this intake on blah 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 with the validator following it on the other hand uh, if most validator is just for a single field then you can just pass the form control the specific field here the one-liner is very simple if your form controls value is either Massachusetts Rhode Island return now now is good now is valid Otherwise, return anything else. I return a string in valid state. There is an interface that you need to implement. Uh, I just skipped that step. I think I'm just trying to illustrate the idea to make this simple example as simple as possible. So the validator is a function. You pass the form control value to it. It uses the value to decide whether to return null or something else. Whenever null is returned, it is valid. And async validator is very simple. It just returns a promise. Um, here, the city validator is asynchronous. It returns an observable. Uh, so here, I use the off operator from the RxJS library and use the delay function to delay the observable by 3,000 milliseconds, which is 3 seconds. So after 3 seconds, it will emit an observable, which, of course, has value in either null or invalid city. If the city is either Boston, Worcester, or Springfield, it returns null, which is valid. Otherwise, it returns a string called invalid city. So that's the uh, two validators. Uh, in your form group definition, remember the position matters. For any form control, the first field is the default value, which is empty string. The second field is an array of custom or built in synchronous validators. And the third argument is an array of asynchronous validators so the position matters you can see here the state field it takes just one validator in the array um, which is validated state a custom validator uh, of course you can add another validator that say the validators dot max length equals two yeah because the state abbreviation should be two characters uh, but here just one validator is enough now the city validator have empty array because the there's no synchronous validator there's only one asynchronous validator which is the third argument so that's how you implement these validators asynchronous and synchronous they're used by the position the first position default value second position array of synchronous validators and the third position is an array of asynchronous validators and also remember in real production uh, software you will very likely use this HTTP client to get some some data from a server instead of using this contrived uh, fake observable for, built from RxJS library, yeah. So you're gonna make an API call, grab some data, which takes a little bit of time. Then you return on observable. 
uh, to validate. Either it's now or it's some value. So that's the today's video. Um, feel free to check out the Git repo uh, at GitHub. Okay, thank you.